Hey guys, Bricks Friday here and welcome to my brand new series on the channel where I take this free to play account that I've tagged noob to pro and actually make it a pro account. How do I mean? In these videos or range of videos you're going to be finding in this playlist, we'll find ways to play free to play efficiently. It's all about efficiency. How you will get the best champions, RNG, we don't care about all that. We'll see how we can graduate this account from a level where it is now to an account that is worth you know using and beating every content in the game the main challenge in this range of videos will be one to beat the arbiter two to actually reach the ultra nightmare in the clan boss so that's the two main goals i'm setting arbiter number one and then the ultra nightmare boss number two so we're not going to kind of concentrate on doom tower or faction wars but hey if we get those champions we will beat those type of content also the arena will be one of the main things i will focus on in this range of videos because i feel like building up the great hall is a good way of building the damage you need to beat you know the ultra nightmare clan boss so we'll also be focusing on that building different teams for that so make sure you like subscribe and join me in this journey as we go along now i'll not bore you through this initial tutorial i'll skip this tutorial and we'll get into the main content where we choose which champion we're going to be using all right it's time for us to select which champion we're going to be using for this journey this free to play journey tagged noob to pro and i'm not going to make it as difficult as i as it should be so we are going to go for the obvious choice which is kill if you're new to the game and you're wondering who should be my first champion maybe that's what i'll tag this champion this uh, video who should be your first champion to select in rage shadow legends it should always be kill all the other champions are not bad it's just that kill brings a poison which can help you in the clan boss so that's the main reason why a lot of people use him he's also able to farm the waves faster and do aoe damage to all enemies a lot of the time so one of the best champions in the game for early game progression is kill when i started the first time playing the game i chose atel it wasn't that bad I, I also used it so i'm gonna use kill a dark else and i'll see you guys when the game actually begins as usual everything will be locked the forge is locked the tavern is locked the great hall is locked everything padlocks are everywhere right now but hey we are seeing the boosted summons is on for a new player. They are telling us to summon a new champion, which we will do with mystery shards. The most simplest shards we can get. Hey, and we got a sniper. And this is free for every player gets a sniper. I'm not going to build her up, but for early green progression, she might help you with the waves. All right, let's keep the rest of this tutorial and actually start the game. All right, I'm done with the boring tutorial. We are down to the main game now. Let's change the name of the account. First of all, change username. It's called noob to pro. Hope somebody has not chosen this username. Yes, it's available for me. Avatar, we're using K as the MVP right now and those are the two essential things to get some achievements out of the way now i'm going to focus on doing my dailies right now oh i've leveled up three i'll finish my dailies and i don't have any shards yet to pull i have two x secrets so this will mean for the next how long does it last 23 hours i have double chance to pull um, legendary champions from secret shards that means i have to look for ways to finish up no this is a void anywhere i can get sacred shards basically the first thing i need is double xp i forgot what it takes to be a newbie so this is all new to me hey let's pull our mystery shards maybe we'll get a good rare so i'm going to be spending a lot of time in the campaign and i'm not going to record those parts because campaign runs are boring you all know that I'll give updates daily on the progress. Um, bear with me because I'm kind of new to the free-to-play life. <laughs> so, yeah, we're getting some content over here. If you'd like, if you guys would like a short, short version updates of it, 
or you like me to record the entire process which will be a 20 minutes 30 minutes video hey let me know but if you prefer to be a short short update of the account progress daily i'm also up for that which i'll only record when the content has already happened and i'll give the update in a video Ooh, free grips we got two clam boss keys but we don't have a um the clam boss unlocked yet so i've summoned this i'm kind of confused what next to do so i'll let the the dailies the weeklies and the you know the quest basically guide me especially these missions so this first mission here is to clear karok stage so stage seven so i'll let the missions guide me on my way because remember we're trying to get abita as fast as possible so we'll not waste energy on parts of the game that are not important so let's um do as the mission says hey i got some free content i mean some free artifacts right here from the bonus for updating the app i guess or download downloading resources in the game and i got a boots so i'll give everything to kill as usual let the damage begin no i'm not leveling up just giving it to him equip 2000 come on delete this shit destroy the tutorial makes you level this one up and then try to take money from you for <laughs> removing it imagine that oh i should have left the helmet anyways i'll get another one equip my kill will do massive amount of damage with this artifacts gotten so far i'll not level it up or maybe should i let's make this a little bit faster right because we are going to be using this for a while and we still have an event i don't know if i have it, the event unlocked yet though let me check no i don't have events unlocked yet so let me not do it when i have events unlocked this i will update upgrade this artifact for now let's run through the campaign and blast our way through it i already three star this one let's go i'll cut now and see you when the campaign's normal is done and down goes the first bust for normal <laughs> i don't want to read the story but hey you can read it if you want to and we are rewarded with the war priest this um, rare champion a healer on her a1 she has a freeze and this is the healing ability that heals based on um, the enemies no the allies max hp so here's the target ally by 20 percent of their max hp not based on our own hp this champion was somebody i took to 50 back in my days but this time i don't think i'll take her to 50. so we are also rewarded with a bunch of artifacts which i'll not put on kale he already has two foster artifacts maybe i'll put the chest on him and the gauntlet but that's it um good reward good reward i'll build her up so she can support kale in this journey of um the hard i think this is just normal let's go to the next part which is hard yes no this is still normal <laughs> i thought this is hard i thought it's just that easy i forgot it's a stage by stage basis so the next one is what seaways of amok ah, i thought i was done with normal this is gonna be a long run anyways <laughs> let's proceed this one has seaways of amok some artifacts for me this one has a book for me let's see what it has i don't think i'll give any update until i'm done beating all this then the final boss when we get this void shard i'll update you guys the next one all right after one hour of play time this is proving to be more difficult than i thought it would actually be progression reward i'm currently at level 10 and my kill for the campaign i couldn't just go smoothly i couldn't just beat all the campaigns i could beat all this yes yes but i couldn't just rush through it because i was going according with the habitat missions and these missions are dragging you behind it's making you go back to level one and beating some stages again and stuff like that you know that's the goal we're trying to go accordingly but maybe if it proves to be kind of holding us back we'll skip through this for now push our kill to his maximum and come back to this later i don't know 
So I managed to get some epic books from the um, promo code. So you guys don't wonder how I got epic books. So that's how I put the promo code over there and I got the epic book, two of them. And I've collected it. So that will help me later when I got an epic champion. As for the champion so far, it's looking like this. I got this out of um, that mission at level two, I think. And I'm trying to level up some food right now. So once kill hits 30, he's going to be 40. So I'm, I'll feed him these other champions who, are, who will be at level three. It's, it's really, really difficult. It's a lot of farming. I didn't expect it to be this time consuming. But hey, we'll push through. I'll see you guys in campaign hard tomorrow or maybe by the time i come back to recording i'll be in brutal already who knows let's see pick it up tomorrow morning bright and early make sure you like and subscribe to this new free to play account noob to pro series and i'll post important updates not just this campaign farming stuff this is kind of boring but i just wanted to show you the beginning and genesis of this account to see how we begin and i didn't expect this to be taking too long but i thought by now being brutal <laughs> but hey we'll push through and see how we beat the dungeons and teams we build so like and subscribe guys good night